Hey YouTube, thank you for watching me. Um, if it's your first time here on my channel, I thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'm going to be doing a reading today and I'm going to be talking about what's going on in your current relationship. What's going on with the person on your mind. Um, okay. Okay, so first, I want to see what sign are we going to start with? What sign are we going to start with today? Let's see. Let's see what sign we are going to start with today. Holy Spirit, our angels and ancestors, what sign are we starting with today? That one right there. <laughs> okay, Taurus. Taurus, we are starting with the sign of Taurus today. I'm going to be using the Doreen Virtue Romance Angels deck for you today, Taurus. I hope you are having a great day. I hope your week has been great. Holy Spirit, our changes and ancestors. What messages do you have for the sign of Taurus? First off, Taurus, um, you are stuck in your head about something. You're stuck in your head. Um, you're stuck in your head, but I feel like you've been stuck in your head about something for a very, very long time. But something is it's smoothing out. It's smoothing out. Whatever you've been stuck in your head, or you're getting some type of mental clarity. I can just answer the Holy Spirit. Okay, the line there. Like, what messages do you have? For the sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What messages do you have for the sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Holy Spirit. Okay, Taurus. The first card out is trust, but it's in reverse. Um, Taurus, I feel like you've been hurt a lot in your past, and you have a hard time trusting. I feel like you have a hard time trusting, especially when it comes to relationships. Um, you've been disappointed a lot in your past. Okay, you have the free yourself card um, in reverse. Um, Taurus, I'm feeling like you need to take back control of your life. Um, you're, there's some situation that you want to be free from. Um, I feel like you don't belong. You don't fit in, but you are staying stuck there. Um and then I have the past life relationship card um, in reverse. So there is some sort of past life relationship um, that you've had with a person. And um, I have the forgiving and learning card. Um, and the forgiving and learning card says as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. Um, so there is something um, or someone, there's some type of connection that you had um, and there might have been some things in this uh, connection, in this relationship, um, even things in your childhood that's causing you to not be able to trust. Um, you're needing to free yourself from that, though. Um, and there's something that you need to forgive. And you are having a very, very, very hard time forgiving whatever it is that's happened in this connection. Um, you have the keep an open mind card. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and your expectations. So... This person, um, you're needing to keep an open mind. Um, this person is not somebody that you would typically go for. Um, somebody that you would typically be interested in. Um, the worth waiting card. Um, divine timing is at work in your love life. Um, so this situation, um, the worth waiting for card is in reverse. So I feel like whatever it is with this situation, it's picking up momentum. It's picking up speed. Um, I feel like you're trying to run from it, but no matter what you do, you keep it keeps repeating back. You keep going back. Um, the religious factors card is in reverse as well. Your life is being influenced by re your religious upbringing and your spiritual path. I feel like you might have been raised differently from this person. Um, I feel like the spiritual beliefs between you and this person, um, they differ. But I feel like you are coming into your own spirituality. Um, we have the attraction card in reverse. Um, you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Um, I feel like you are attracting 
this person right directly to you, Taurus. Um, but there's a lot of things that you are going to have to release and you're going to have to forgive yourself. Um, you're going to have to forgive yourself and the people around you and release these things because I feel like those things are really, really holding you back. I feel like it's something that you want to do, but there's some religious factors that differ between you and this person. And this person is not typically who you would go for, um, but it's the best for you, Taurus. Um Holy Spirit, true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. Taurus, I feel like um the connection that you were in, you felt like um that that was your true love, that that was your person. Um, and it's in reverse. So slowly, you were starting to realize that 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 wasn't for you but you were keeping your own self stuck and stagnant um in that commitment i feel like you were obligated to it holy spirit okay taurus let's see what we have separation okay so you and this person have been separated for a while i feel like taurus um time apart from your uh, person is on the horizon but it is in the reverse so i feel like whatever it is with this connection i feel like this connection is coming back around um within i feel like within the next couple weeks or whatever it is that you're going through um and then i have the children card your love life is being affected by children so whatever it is in this connection i feel like it's being affected by children there's something about children um that is blocking this connection and we have the playfulness card to recapture romance allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine um we have the playfulness card in reverse um i feel like you're a fun person taurus you're you're a fun person um you're a fun person to be around no matter where you go i feel like people gravitate towards you taurus the wedding card just popped out on its own you taurus you are thinking about marriage or I, the way that that card just popped out, Taurus, I feel like you are going to be getting married. I feel like it's just going to come out of no... Taurus. 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 What are you doing? Wedding. Make the effort in honeymoon. Okay? It just popped out. When I say I feel like the way that these cards just popped out, I feel like this is about to surprise everyone. I feel like it's getting ready to come out of nowhere because I didn't even know that the wedding card had popped out for you, Taurus. I didn't even know that. Like, it it popped out and it was smooth. I feel like this is, this is it. This is it because that card just popped out so smooth. Like, <laughs> it's like, boom, I'm here. I, I wasn't here yesterday, but I'm here today. I feel like this is getting ready to go very quickly. And I said something's getting ready to happen within the next two weeks. Um, that was what I was seeing. Um, something's getting ready to change within within a connection within two weeks. Chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. I feel like something keeps pulling you back no matter what. Um, even though you try to get away and disconnect yourself from this connection, I feel like there's too much chemistry there. Like, it's, it, it, it just doesn't go anywhere, Taurus. It's time for you to disconnect from the world. Retreat. Taurus, I feel like you have been going within. I feel like you've been kind of saying to yourself, um, and you've been thinking. You've just been... I feel like you've been having a lot of dreams too. Um, you need to keep a dream journal by your by your bed, wherever you sleep, um, and start writing your dreams down. We have the Let Your Friends Help You card. Ask for help and support. I feel like you've been talking to your friends. I feel like you've been talking to your friends about whatever this situation is, or you are needing to talk to your friends about this. Um, heart to heart conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. There is some type of conversation that you are needing to have in. I feel like there's some type of conversation that you're needing to have and you've been needing to have this conversation, but I feel like you just, you don't have enough trust. 
you don't have enough trust. I feel like you're afraid to take that leap of faith, but spirit is telling you to take that leap of faith. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. There's going to be some flirting going on. There is going to be some some flirting going on. Um, Taurus, I'm about to see what signs you could be dealing with. And I'm going to end this reading out because this reading was clear and cutthroat. Um, as I said, the way those cards popped out, I feel like you are getting ready to do something that's getting ready to shock a lot of folks. I, I feel like they don't even see this coming. Um, I feel like they don't even see this coming um, because those cards came out and for the honeymoon and the wedding and the make the effort it that's clear it's clear um holy spirit archangels ancestors what sign what signs are the tours something rising and dealing with what signs are the tours something rising dealing with holy spirit okay taurus i feel like you could be dealing with a fire sign a aries a leo a Sagittarius. What other signs could Taurus be dealing with? Fire sign. Again, Taurus. Um, what other signs are the Taurus? Yes. Okay. So... You could be dealing with an air sign, a Gemini, a Libra, an Aquarius. There's also there's also something about a Cancer, Scorpio, and a Pisces. Taurus, um, the full card just came out. Um, it speaks about new beginnings, um, being spontaneous again, trust in life, blind faith, um, adventure, opportunity. Like I said, Taurus, there's a leap of faith that you are needing to take, but I feel like you... You don't trust. You don't trust. And you're needing to trust this situation. Spirit got your back. Just jump. Jump. Um, okay. So there is a Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini around you that is very deceptive. They're they're manipulating. Um, they are very deceptive. Um, they like to gossip. Um, I feel like this uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini has been giving you bad advice. Um yeah oh my goodness okay there's about to be some sort of judgment called taurus there's about to be some sort of judgment called um you are awakening right now um forgiveness mercy these people are going to regret whatever it is that they did um they've caused a lot of delays in your life um they tried to weigh you down um drain you of your energies um strongly aquarius libra gemini and then there's a aries a leo and a sagittarius but judgment is being called right now um whatever the situation is um taurus i'm going to end this reading um if you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Um, been gone for a second. Um, I'm getting back, um, getting my setup right and everything. Um, if you would like to donate to my channel, um, somewhere you'll see it. Um, it's not required at all. Um, I'm taken care of by the most high. Um, but towards take that leap of faith. That is the message. Um, take that leap of faith. Um, strongly fire sign. Um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini. Um, deceptive energies. Some those are deceptive energies. Um, you're dealing with uh, a fire sign, and then there's fire signs who are very deceptive, trying to drain and block you. Um, being deceptive spreading lies of uh, the Aquarius Libra and Gemini um again Taurus follow follow what you feel um thank you